Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this system of equations. We have 2 raised to the power of y multiplied by 3 to the power of x equal to 18. And the second equation is 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of y equal to 12. And we are only looking for the real values of x and y that can satisfy the two equations. Alright, let's get started. Let us tag this as equation number 1 and tag this as equation number 2. I would like to multiply equation 1 by equation 2. So equation 1 multiplied by equation 2. Equation 1 is 2 to the power of y multiplied by 3 to the power of x. So we have 2 to the power of y multiplied by 3 to the power of x. Then I would like to multiply the whole of this by the second equation, which is 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of y. We have just multiplied their left hand sides so we have to equally multiply their right hand sides all right so i would like to combine this and this together likewise this and this also together let me start with 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of y multiplied by 3 to the power of y this is equal to 18 times 12 is 216, 216. All right, now let us apply one of the laws of indices. From here, you can see we have equal exponents, xx. So we can take 3 and multiply by 2 and raise them to the power of x. We equally do the same thing for y right here. We have 2 multiplied by 3 all to the power of y. This is equal to 216 this will give us 6 to the power of x multiplied by 6 to the power of y which is still equal to 216 one of the laws of indices stated that if you are multiplying two numbers of equal bases you can always take a single base and add the exponents this is equal to 216 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 3 now, since the bases are the same, it implies that x plus y must be equal to 3. This is an important equation. Let me call it equation number 3. Next, let us take equation 1 and divide by equation number 2. So we have 2 to the power of y multiplied by 3 to the power of x. We divide by... 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of y and their right hand side is 18 and 12 right and again we are going to combine those with the same exponents we have this and this are the same this and this are the same all right so this becomes 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 2 divided by 3 raised to the power of y this is equal to this to the lowest term is the same thing as 3 divided by 2 because 6 into 18 is 3 and 6 into 12 is 2 this base is 2 divided by 3 but this is 3 divided by 2 this is 3 divided by 2 we can transform this into 3 divided by 2 but we have to negate the exponent so this becomes 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by 3 divided by 2 we have just switched the numerator and denominator but you negate the exponent this is equal to 3 divided by 2 but we can raise this to the power of 1 it is the same thing right so apply one of the laws of indices you can see the bases are the same and you are multiplying you take a single base and add the exponents x plus negative y is x minus y this is still equal to 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 1. The bases are the same. We are going to equate the exponents. And therefore, x minus y must be equal to 1. This is our fourth equation. Now let us combine equation number 3 and equation number 4 and solve them simultaneously. Equation number 3 is x plus y equal to 3, while this is x minus y equal to 1 from equation 3 
and equation number four we have x plus y equal to three from equation number three and x minus y equal to one from equation number four all right let us add these two equations together to the left hand side we have x plus x making two x y plus negative y is zero to the other side we have three plus one equal to four divide both sides by two we have x equal to two and hence the value of x is equal to two and what about the value of y we can plug this x equal to two into any of these two equations let me plug it into equation number four in equation number four we have x minus y equal to one where x is equal to two so we have two minus y equal to one which means that y is equal to two minus one and finally y equal to one so it implies that x equal to two and y equal to one x y are nothing but two and one respectively but we can always test this in the main equation to see whether this is true let's go back to the main equation so if x is equal to 2 and y equal to 1, let us plug it into the first equation and see. We have 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. Will this give us 18? That is the question. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1 is 2. But 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And 2 times 9 is indeed 18. Then in the second equation, where we have 2 to the power of x, meaning 2 to the power of 2, multiplied by 3 to the power of y, and y is 1. Will this give us 12? Let us find out. This is 4, but this is 3, and 4 times 3 is indeed 12. And hence, the values of x and y are 2 and 1, respectively. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.